me, Laura Burns. Welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, one-handed jazz hands. And I only have one hand because I'm holding my trunk. It's heavy. Here it is. Here's the size of it. Jeez Louise. Okay. Whew. Here we are again for another trunk club. And... Y'all know it's my very favorite subscription box. I love Trunk Club. I think that um, my stylist just does a great job. I feel like she really listens to me, but also kind of tries to push me a little bit. Um, I like Trunk Club because you can actually, you have like a dedicated chat with your stylist. So you can talk to them and say uh, whatever you want to say and they can talk back to you. So more so than any other subscription box that I've tried, I feel like you really have a relationship with your stylist and they really hear you. And also you get a preview of your trunk um, so that you can go through and say like, don't send this, don't send this, don't send this. Cause there's just some things you know, I am never ever gonna wear that. So like, don't send it. Or you just don't like the look of it. Um, I do try not to say like too much, don't send this, don't send this. Cause I wanna try everything on because you know, sometimes people pick stuff for you and you think, oh no. And then you put it on and you're like, Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I try not to say no too often, but there are some things I'm like, I literally already have something, you know, almost the same as this, or it's just like, I find that incredibly hideous, or um, I know that that cut won't work for me, whatever. Although you have to be careful, you know, because sometimes I've tried on like, a, for example, for me, a sheath dress and thought, oh, this is gonna be awful. That cut doesn't work for me. And then I put it on and it looks great. So sparingly sparingly tell them no <laughs> i try to trust my stylist um and uh so far that has not been bad for me so i'm not going to ramble too much in the beginning because trunk club uh sends you 12 pieces so it's a lot to try on we're just going to jump into it and get started the theme for this um is like holiday stuff so there's some sparkly stuff in here there's some fun clothes and um we're gonna get started. Okay. So I have on two items for you. We'll start on the top. I'll come close so you can see the detail. So the neckline and the cuffs are smocked, so there's a lot of give. This has two little buttons, so I think you're probably supposed to wear it like this, but I don't like all of that situation, so. I'm gonna wear it like this <laughs> and I think it looks fine so first of all let me just say I love 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 sheer clothing so like already this is a win for me um it's very different from anything that I own it's got these like flowy sleeves there's a slight metallic there yeah you can see the sparkle hi bug <laughs> um look how pretty that is there's just a little bit of metallic in there um, this is great for holiday, but also not, it's not like too over the top. You could wear this so much all year long. Um, so I have it open, but you can certainly wear it closed at the neck. So it comes down long. It pretty, yeah, covers my butt almost to the bottom of my belly. It has two little slits or a slit on each side. Um, so this is a size 26. This is from Love and Legend, which is an additional brand. So this is fitting pretty loosely on me, even on the bottom. So this is a size 26, y'all, and this is fitting me. So I guess it's supposed to be oversized, so it means it actually fits me correctly. And I even did test and sit down, and while the material is not stretchy, um, it still fits and is comfortable for me sitting down. So here's the long sleeve, and then because these cuffs are so stretchy, it's really comfortable to pull this up higher on my arm. It doesn't feel too tight at all. Bye. My dog can't make up her mind. So yeah, so if you want, you know, a shorter sleeve look, you could do it like that. Um, I love this. I am feeling good about this box. <laughs> I love it and I think it looks great with leggings. So here we go. Here's the leggings on the bottom. They're very long, they're like over my heel. Let me pull this up so you can see. So these bad boys, <laughs> were kind of a struggle to put on. These are by Spanx, uh, and they're a size 3X. And so um, once I got them on, they actually feel fine on me now. 
like they don't feel too crazy um but putting them on like definitely was a whole situation <laughs> so these are like camo i don't know if that's going to come across i'll come a little closer i think you can see like the camo it's got a super wide waistband so let me just say i won't be keeping these because i don't like to be squeezed around the middle this much However, I know lots of people do like it. So if you don't mind a little compression and you're looking for a nice quality pair of like fashion leggings, these are really nice. Like they're probably expensive, but the quality is good. There's no um, seam up the front. So like, I guess camel toe issues can be avoided. The material is thick, but not like weirdly thick. You know what I mean? If you're tall, they're very long. So they'll probably be right for you. On me, they're like literally, uh, over my heel on the bottom of my foot. So here's from the side. They definitely suck you in. Like, that's not what I'm looking for, but like, they're definitely holding in my belly for sure. Here's the back. You can see. And the other side. And yeah, like, they look cute with a shirt over them. So um, I won't keep them because of the compression issue, um, but. They're really nice quality. They're really, you know, like if you're into that, like these are very nice. I don't know, I just keep saying the same thing. I'm just looking in the mirror. Yeah, like I'm like, I like this little outfit. Put on some like black booties and uh, hey, okay, moving on. And next. So I'm just gonna keep these pants on for all these tops that I'm trying on because uh, they're on and it took so long to get on. Like, just stay on. Okay, so this next sweater is from Vince Camuto in a size 3X. So it's just like a little crew neck sweater in this really pretty cream color, which is very soft. And then on the cuffs and on the hem here, there's an ombre metallic that happens. So uh, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to come a little closer and show you. Well, okay. I don't know if it's coming across on camera. It's so hard to see. Here's the bot. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. I don't know if you can see just how pretty this is. My concern though is that it's not like Lurex thread woven into the fabric. It's an overwash of metallic uh, glitter or whatever. I don't know. So I don't know how this is gonna hold up over time. Now I know Vince Camuto is not a cheap brand, so one would think that it would, you know, hold up over time, but I just don't know. Um, this is so beautiful though. Like if it could stay like this forever and like the glitter would stay, it's very pretty. And it's a more subtle kind of holiday look. You could easily wear this to work and feel like a little festive or a little sparkly, but not be like over the top, you know? Mm. And it's very, I'm like, it's very soft. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I, don't, I mean, I don't need any more sweaters, really. Uh, I've gotten a lot from Trunk Club, but this is very pretty. And the 3X is fitting me really nicely. And it's stretchy, so. But I'm not even really stretching it. Um, and it looks good. <laughs> Next up is this silver metallic cami from Leith. It's in a size 4X. And it's stretchy so it looks like you know like a silk camisole but it's actually stretchy um i need to adjust the straps and figure out where it looks best on me but look it fits really nicely and it's stretchy so even if i sit down it'll still fit and i can see something like this with jeans or like tucked into a high-waisted skirt or honestly <laughs> i can see this as like loungewear around my house i've been wanting like um, a set of like silk pajamas or something, but they don't make them in my size, which is very frustrating. If y'all know where to get uh, silk pajamas or something like that, raw silk, shiny silk, whatever, pajamas and like a size 28, that would be great. Let me know. <laughs> anyway, so I can see myself like, you know, dressing this up, but I could also see myself like relegating this to being like just like fancy loungewear around my house. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in loungewear and have been trying to upgrade my stuff so that I can feel cute, maybe sexy, um, even when I'm just around the house. And I'm 
going to just stay on camera, not cut, and throw on this next item because I think it'll be a good fit. Look, it's shiny. Where's the top? <laughs> okay, so this is from Love and Legend, Edition L again, and it is a size 4X, and it is this beautiful sequin, like kimono-y top situation. Oh my god. And listen, I love the noise, but also look, it's one of these where the sequins are reversible. It's like those pillows. <laughs> so it's black and then silver. Isn't that so fun? Oh my gosh. Okay. So it has these like kind of wider, almost kimono-y sleeves. It's probably supposed to be three quarters, but on my little arms, it's like seven eighths. <laughs> Um, hitting around the hip, size 4X. If you wanted to like use a brooch and close it up, you could right here. Um, on me, it doesn't quite me, but it's so close. But I would never, you know, number one, it doesn't have any closures, so it doesn't matter. It's supposed to, you know, drape and be easy. Here's one on the side. And it's so sparkly. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh. I love those pillows. I would just be doing this. If I keep this, I'm just going to do this all the time. Okay, here's from the back. Just full sequin moment. I'm just going to look in the mirror here. Woo! <laughs> so I could totally see me wearing this over, like, you know, some of my little dresses that I have to fancy it up. Maybe like a New Year's Eve look. I'll just be doing this. I don't know. Um, it's not the softest thing inside, but it's not too bad. Sometimes sequin things are like really uncomfortable. Sorry, I have a cough drop now, so if I'm doing weird stuff with my mouth, that's what it is. Okay, you could even belt this if you're a belter. Put a little belt on over it, give it some shape if you're a person who wants to accentuate, ugh, accentuate your waist. But I'm more of a flowy, non-waist accentuating person. I just keep touching it, just doing this. Anyway, woo, it's so sparkly and pretty. Yes, this is going in the maybe pile for sure. Oh, hi. I don't know if you can tell, but my sweater is sparkly. <laughs> Let me come close. There it is. Rainbow sparkles. So I see red or, you know, kind of uh, magenta, teal, gold on this navy base. And this is one where it's actually woven into the sweater so you don't have to worry about the glitter coming off. So this is just a simple sweater. This is from Halogen in a size 3X. So it is, on me, very form-fitting. Um, this would be a great layer uh, for me under something because it fits tight to the body, um, unless I'm just feeling like, hey, let me have a real form-fitting day. But in general, I have a more loose silhouette with most of my clothes. Like I can see me wearing this under my um, torrid overalls. So like a little warm layer, dark denim, skinny leg overalls, navy sparkly sweater. Hey, that's like a pretty Laura Burns holiday look right there actually. Anyway, but it is stretchy. So like, it's not like it's like tight or anything. It's just, you know, fitting close to the body. Anyway, it's very cute. Just a simple little crew neck sweater. It's not too tight on my neck, so that doesn't bother me. The length of the sleeves is pretty good. And also, you know, you can always roll them up, cuff them up a little bit if you want to. I really like this. I don't need it at all. I have so many like of these kind of sweaters now, but <sighs> she just keeps sending me cute ones. <laughs> and I like them so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. And you know, the more I look at this one, the more I like it. And also, you know what, when I put this on, the bottom had gotten tucked up underneath when I was pulling it down and it was like looking like a little crop. And now I'm kind of like into that look, a little crop sweater situation. Cute. Okay. This one 
is really interesting. It has some very dramatic sleeves that I'm purposefully not showing you yet because I'm going to make a big reveal. You ready? <laughs> Look at this! Do you guys watch um, Sophia Nygaard on YouTube? This is, like reminds me of a shirt that she would wear because she's like, I'm a bat. Boom! I'm a bat, bitch. <laughs> okay, so I forgot to look. I was so distracted by the drama of these sleeves. I forgot to look and see who this is by. I'll tell you in a second. Anyway, so the sleeve comes to here, and then there's a big ruffle that goes all the way around. Here's a close-up of the material. It's got wide ribbing. And then on the back, it has a fun kind of crossover tie detail. High-low hemline, slightly lower in the back. It's fitting pretty close to my body. It's a pretty boxy shape in general. I like kind of love this, but also know that I would not reach for it because I don't love I like the look of, but not like the functionality of actually wearing a dramatic sleeve. Because like imagine trying to eat with this. It's like so much going on. I'd have to like tie it up and over. <laughs> Something crazy like that. So this is so fun and cool. And if I were just gonna like wear it to a party, yes. So I mean I guess that's kind of the idea. These are holiday looks. But like Oh my gosh. I mean, I do kind of love this, to be honest. <laughs> With like a high-waisted skirt, like a little skater skirt. Oh my gosh. Laura Burns, you don't need this. I'll want to wear it, but I will not wear it because it will drive me crazy if I do anything other than just like stand around and like drink drinks. If I try to eat in this, no. Oh my God, but look, I can't stop, okay. This is so cool. Let's see who makes it. I'm just going to take it off. <sighs> it is by Lost Ink in the size 4X. Made in the UK. Okay, so it's a UK brand. Anyway, I mean, it's going in the maybe pile because I am really tempted. Next item is very soft. It is a super fine knit sweater material. Really soft. You can tell like it's a really nice quality material. It has um, the sleeves rolled up in a little tab here. So I guess you could undo it and let them roll down. Um, honestly, I'd probably do it up one more and then like tack it all into place because I basically never want long sleeves. Um, very rarely do I want long sleeves. Anyway, crew neck, little fine, fine, fine knit sweater dress, tunicky. No, this is like a full on dress. Fits loose to the body. I mean, this is right up my alley. And I don't have anything like it at all. The one weird thing though, there are two pockets on the front, but instead of being like here, where you would expect them, they're way down here, like at the hem. What is this? I can't, I have to, not that I would like keep a lot because it would mess with the line of it, but like it's very strange and it bothers me. Once I saw it, I was like, what? I'm just going to look. <laughs> it's like, why are they down there? But I mean, I guess it's not too annoying. I really like this. This is for sure going in the maybe pile. Let's look at it with the sleeves down and see how they look. So they're kind of weirdly wide. Um, I feel like this thing should have sleeves that fit tighter to the body like that. Um, but that's okay. I guess it's not, it's a little weird. It's annoying to me. I would definitely, <laughs> I would definitely keep them rolled up and then I'll just tack it so that they don't ever roll down. I think for sure. Anyway, I like this a lot. This is definitely going in the maybe pile. Um, if you, you know, are a waist accentuator, throw on a belt. Um, you could wear this with like a kimono or something over it and that would be cute. Oh, like our sparkly sequin kimono would look cute over this. This is just really cozy and it feels like easy to wear. Um, you know, throw on some 
<laughs> bike shorts or leggings <laughs> if you're me and then you know throw this on or it would look cute with like colored tights for a little contrast yes anyway cute you could totally fancy this up or also wear it casually nice hello hello <laughs> so next item is also from that brand lost ink and also in a size 4x now y'all know i don't love stuff around my neck so this is already like gonna be a hard sell but i have to tell you they're making it hard for me they're making it hard for me because i am pretty into this you want to see what it is oh it's a bodycon dress Hello, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's a super fine sweater knit, very similar actually to that last dress that I had on. It has these studs at the neck and it's not like tight and choking me. It's just like, oh, on my neck, which I don't love. Um, but yeah, long sleeve, nice. Um, the sleeves are, you know, tight to the body, which is what I like for sleeves. And uh, yeah, just stretchy. There's no like seaming or crazy business going on, no ruching or whatever. It's very simple, but um, definitely very bodycon. So you can see all my business. And from the side, from the back, from the other side, and the front. So if you don't like VBO, you are not gonna like this at all. I happen to think this dress looks really good on me. <laughs> I'm really liking it. I'm telling you, they're making it hard for me here. Um, yeah, I mean, my belly is, you know, out and proud, but I'm like loving this dress. I just, I wish this neckline was a little different and I would keep this dress for sure. I just, I just know this is gonna drive me crazy. If this had like a crew neck or like a nice scoop neck or something, I would be all about it. And it's really comfortable. So a lot of times bodycon dresses are like, <sighs> but this one, it's, you know, that fine knit sweater. So it's just like kind of just skimming my body. It's not tight at all. It feels really good actually. So, hey, <laughs> here's my bud. It looks good. I mean, I'm like feeling myself in this dress for sure. Oh my gosh, with a high pony, yes. Boom! It's too bad about this. I think it looks good, but it's already bothering me and making me feel hot. So, <sighs> unfortunately, I'm not gonna keep this, but like, hey, I think it looks so good. I love it. What do you think? You don't have to love it. I know a lot of you won't, but that's okay. <sighs> I'm super into it. <laughs> okay, there's one more thing, and I have saved the sparkliest for last. <laughs> Just kidding, I lied. That was not, uh, there's not one more thing left. There's actually um, three more things. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so for those of you last time who loved that um, metallic burgundy dress with the weirdo slit, this is for you. This is from the same people. And now it's in skirt form. <laughs> So silver, really fun metallic, that same kind of slit situation. Can you see this? Yes. Um, and this time the underskirt, I think maybe is like slightly longer or I just have it positioned right. So it's hiding my bike shorts. <laughs> so that looks a little better. Um, although you could always wear this, you know, with tights or if you're not like a person like me that always has to have something um, protecting your inner thighs, you could wear this obviously without anything. Um, but yeah, I like the look of this better. For some reason here, the slit is working for me. So here's from the side. It's sparkly, metallic, really good for holiday or any time that you want to sparkle. Um, I'm just going to look in the mirror. Yeah, so this black part that's above, that's the waistband of my bike shorts. That's not the skirt. So usually you'd be wearing a shirt, right? <laughs> so you wouldn't see that. Yeah, so I don't know what it is, but something about this slit is like doing better for me. <laughs> it doesn't feel so weird. Um, it's still not exactly the kind of slit that I would want, but like I do like it better. So I am open. I've also been trying to get more skirts, so I am like particularly open to liking this. Um, 
I would put a shirt on, but I don't really have anything in here that would go with this. Um, so it's just <laughs> bra. Cute. Yes. Okay. Two more things. You guys. You guys. First of all, my boobs are not sitting in this right. Because, <laughs> okay. That's a little better. Obviously, my bra is wrong for this and uh, whatever. But look at this romper. <laughs> it's a fully sequined romper. Um, hello. So I have to tell you, I think this is amazing. And I'm super excited to try this on and show you. But I could not wear this because these sequins are so itchy and like uncomfortable so like around the arms anywhere like where the edges are it's really uncomfortable. i actually had to take this off put my bike shorts back on and then put it on because around the legs the sequins like especially in the inner thigh were like hurting me <laughs> so i do have my bike shorts on if you see any black peeking out i tried to pull it up but that's what is happening um it looks great if I were like just going to take pictures. <laughs> um, if you are a person who can like handle sequins touching your body, get this. It is so cute. Uh, but I can't. But I just want to show you. Here's from the side. And from the back. And the side. And the front. And all the angles. Also, there's like um, little foam cups in here. I guess you're supposed to wear this without a bra. But like here's the deal. Here's where the cups are, and like here's where my boobs are. So I guess you'd have to like use that. Um, it's like boob tape where it like lifts them up. Because <laughs> mine do not sit up here to sit like where these cups are. It's kind of crazy. And it's pretty low in the back to try and wear a strapless bra. So I don't know. You got to figure that one out for yourself. Maybe your boobs sit higher than mine whatever i'm 36 years old and uh i don't really care where my boobs sit and sometimes i get comments here on youtube like you need to wear a supportive bra here's the thing i need to do whatever feels comfortable for me and for me that means wearing bralettes or no bra at all if you want to wear an underwire bra that hoists them up go for it i'm not telling you not to do that but i'm just saying for me that is not going to happen and so um, you're wasting your breath, you're wasting your time telling me to get a new bra because uh, I will, but it'll be a bralette. <laughs> um, this is really cute. I just keep touching it and looking at it and I really like it, but I can't really put my arms down because uh, it hurts. And uh, that's not conducive to a fun night out. <laughs> So I am excited to show you this. If you think you can handle it, I recommend it. It's cute. It seems well made, but I just, I can't do it. I'm like, hello, let's have some fun. <laughs> okay, there's one more thing that I have to show you. And last are these little ankle booties from the brand Bella Vita. They're gray, they're suede. They've got a little bit of a stacked heel. These are in a size 10 wide, which um, I think feel true to size. So they're a little big on me right now. But the reason that I ordered them in a larger size is because I have to wear any kind of shoe like this with um, an insole for extra padding. And so I buy them a size up. Here's from the back. So you can see they go up pretty high in the back, which may or may not bother you. Um, I have to say the very first moment I put them on, they felt a little stiff, like kind of like, you know, as you walk and your leg bends, but like already <laughs> in like three minutes uh, have feel like they've softened up and uh, actually feel really comfortable. So I think these are really cute really cute I like them a lot and the um, bottom of them is like a rubber not like a slick sole so they're a little grippy which is nice don't feel like you're gonna fall down so 
Cute. All right, I'm gonna come back with the prices. <laughs> okay, fumble, fumble. Uh, let's look at the prices. The Vince Camuto white ombre glitter sweater, 109. I told you it was gonna be a lot. <laughs> The uh, navy rainbow shimmer sweater from Halogen, 59. The Caslon roll sleeve long sweater dress, uh, 79. The shiny silver camisole, 35. The shiny silver skirt, 45. The sequin romper, 69. The bat sleeve top from Lost Ink, 48. The bodycon dress from Lost Ink, 68. The sheer smock neck and cuff uh, shirt that was the first thing I put on, 69. The sequin kimono, 119. The Spanx uh, faux leather leggings, oh, 114. And the ankle booties in gray suede, 80, 50. All right. And those are the prices here. Sometimes when I go on to give my feedback and to like purchase the things that I'm going to purchase, things are on sale. So they're, they may not be listed as sale here, but then I go in and they're on sale. So who knows? Some of this stuff might be on sale. And also um, the $25 styling fee gets credited towards the purchase. So um, I am thinking the three things that I like most want to keep are the Caslon sweater dress, the sheer shirt, and the... Um, Why can I not think? Oh, the sequined, uh, the sequined kimono, yes. Um, but the kimono and the castle and sweater dress are kind of a lot. I mean, that sequined kimono is $120, so <laughs> we're gonna take that out of the running. Um, the castle and sweater dress is 79, and the other, the shirt is 69. I think I'm just gonna get the sheer shirt. So it is basically $70. Um, minus the $25 styling fee that I've already paid. So that's a little more reasonable for me and my budget right now. Um, but I gotta say, I loved a lot, a lot, a lot of what it was in that trunk. Man, Trunk Club is so good. They're always sending me stuff that I like. Um, I'm gonna let her know that I loved that bodycon dress and if they have another kind with a different kind of neckline that I would like to get it because I wanted that, but I just know. I just know that I wouldn't wear it, but yeah. I mean, there's very few things in here that I just didn't like. Um, I think the only thing I just straight up did not like were the Spanx leggings, and they looked great. I just didn't like the way they felt because they were a little compression-y for me, but I'm just looking at the list of things, and yeah. Y'all, if you haven't tried Trunk Club, give it a try. Uh... There's a link in the description box, um, which is, to be clear, a referral link or an affiliate link or whatever. Um, so if you use that link and you get Trunk Club and then you purchase something, then I get some credit. Um, so just so you know, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just go try it out instead or, you know, using a different link instead. Um, but if you want to use my link, I would appreciate it. Um, yeah. So tell me in the comments, what did you think of this trunk? What did you like? What did you not like? What would you have been excited to get in your trunk? Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was entertaining, maybe informative if you've been wanting to try blah, 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 if you've been wanting to try trunk club or if you're just looking for some new fun pieces, um, you can always just go and shop those pieces. And I guess that's it. All right. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.